Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Savage Lands Season 2. In this episode, we're going to do something I've been meaning to do for a while. Go back and play the old legacy version of the game. Um, I want to do this because, as I mentioned in the last couple of videos, the game is gearing up for some major changes that will make the game more like the legacy version. So this does seem like a good opportunity to do a bit of compare and contrast. So we'll run around the old island, discuss the upcoming changes, and also discuss a new building system that may be introduced soon. And this might be the last episode of Season 2 of this Let's Play Savage Land series, uh, depending on what happens with the game. Um, but without any further ado, let's legistrate. That's not even slightly a word. Right, so back on the Legacy Island, right at spawn. Let's see if I can actually remember how to do this. Um, because the crafting changed quite a bit over the course of the the new version of the islands. So this is the old island. Um, it's more colourful than I remember. Huh. Um, also, we can see signs of the things that were put in towards the very end of the Legacy Island. These, like, towers that led you towards, I think, the Dragon Tower, if you just follow this. Now, I haven't really got any weapons or anything. I, I should have gone down the beach and, you know, like, slowly build up my armour. But I think that might take quite a while. So let's just talk about um, how Legacy feels different to the modern one, as things are going to, in theory, go back to being a bit more Legacy. I mean, in the previous episode, we did talk about how the island, the, mid, the main island of Fraidlin is going to... Wolf. Wolf. Wolf! Oh, it's tiny! Oh, it's a baby wolf! Oh my god. These didn't, these weren't in the va game very long. These were like, um, they introduced uh, the baby wolves at some point and then uh, they never reintroduced them for the um, for Fraidlin and all that. Yeah, so in the previous one we talked about how um, Fraidlin is going to change. And apparently they're, they're scrapping the whole thing and starting again. But only that main island. So they're going to like, um, build it up from scratch again. And within the next few weeks or so um, we're going we're gonna to see that new island and we're going to get it to explore. Apparently it's far, far larger than the old island, and the old Fraidlin. I'm not sure if they're going to call it, keep, keep on calling it Fraidlin, um, possibly, um, but they give us a sneak peek of it on um, Twitch um, uh, on the, um, just, just recently, and it's not really populated with anything just yet. It's mainly just like a load of foresty trees, completely different to the legacy. <laughs> I actually should be looking out for, see if there's any decent weapons around here. Um, low quality metal ore. Oh god, that's, um, that's old school. Uh, yeah, so the new um, the new version of Fraidlin is going to be a bit more like this legacy island. There's going to be large expanses of just nothing. Well, <laughs> not nothing, but you're going to be able to get lost in it. You're going to have, to have great big areas where you, you're really going to have to learn how to navigate and actually start using the compass all over again. Where's Argo? Where's bloody Argo gone? Um, I didn't really work out which spawn I was I actually started at because there were four spawn points back in these old days. Um, one of them is quite close to Argo, the other's not so much. Oh, there's another There's another line of those rocks. So I think I think Argo is around there somewhere. It's been a long time. Probably. I'll just keep on going in this direction. Haven't met that many wolves yet. The thing about this old legacy island is it did... You, you had absolutely no idea where you were going. And it, it got... If you, if you went into the middle of the island, it got brutal fast. Um, but also, it was quite spread out, so um, the wolves didn't just, like, constantly attack you, but when they did, you knew about it. Um, maybe Argo was... Actually, I think Argo might be a bit further up. I um, vaguely think I can see something. I don't think it's over there. Argo is always the first town that you always used to come to in Legacy. Oh, dear. Hello, dear. They've just updated the animations um, for dear on the, um, on the new version of the game. Um, but I think they're still working out some of the kinks. So I haven't really been showing you those in this video. I can't find Argo. Fucking hell. Ugh. Well, let's just try and go towards the middle of the island and hope we don't get ambushed by a million wolves. We will get ambushed by a million wolves. So the new version of Fraidolin. It's going to be much bigger. They were banding around all sorts of silly figures on the Twitch stream. Like 10 times bigger, 16 times bigger. But I'll believe that when I see it. Apparently the new the new island, the new version of Fraidlin, is also going to be a lot more um, green, at least lower down. I can see some wolves in the distance. Remember the, in the old days, you could enemies could be a long way away. They didn't just pop up when they got really close to you. 
Uh, maybe it was a performance thing. I don't know. Maybe they've, they've had to do that. Otherwise, frame rates and all that. I don't know. So anyway, the new frayed Lynn will be like a, it'll start off green, but then get a bit as you get further up and in, into more dangerous areas, it will get more snowy. So it will feel it will feel a bit kind of more like um, this legacy thing, I guess. Um, it'll still have dramatic geographical areas, um, unlike this. Um, the thing is with this bloody um, this island, it, it was boring, sh boringly shaped. It was fairly pretty much a circle. Um, yeah. It was it kind of like went up a bit in the middle. It was more like sort of like um, rolling hills than anything um, dramatic. There weren't any rivers. There weren't any big fat cliffs. There weren't any walled cities. Um, you could go up the tower. <laughs> um, not very far, admittedly. But you could do this, uh, which you can't. You can definitely not do in the the new version, the newish version, the 2016 version. Oh, there's Argo. There it is. I can just see it in the distance. You can see a lot, feel like you see a long way in this version. Oh, yeah, yeah we, everything's... Maybe that's maybe that's why the performance was sh a, bit, a bit shit. Oh, there's an X. Oh, back back then they were known as forest gremlins. I don't remember X has been around here. Oh, yes, the, I think they were. I think these were the basic version. Uh, let's go and tonk it. Tonk, tonkity tonk. I mean, so the new islands, I mean, one thing is I found... I, I felt about the... Oh, that's a tiny... It's a baby one, that's why. I forgot how much um, smaller things were back then. Uh, even just like the, the regular grown-up versions of things. This one's tiny. Also, it's hard to kill. Also, I miss the fact that there's no bloody health bar at the top. Just die. This doesn't have much of a bloody hit. Bloody, Ugh, bloody hell. I know I'm in hitting it with an axe and everything, but even so, that took forever. And now I'm, looking, I'm getting all gammy in the top left. Uh, but there's no bleed effects. Um, in this old version, so I, sh I don't think there was anyway. No, um, so I think we should be fine to just carry on going. I will be getting cold though. Oh, there's a there's a fast skelly. Um, I don't know. I can't remember how dangerous they are in this version. Ow! I think that answers that. This really this attack is fast. I think it's gonna kill me. What a prick! I didn't sanction this. Rick, run around the tree. Ah, yeah, little turds. Turds. Oh, you don't know how much stamina you've got either. Tonk! Oh, I've got 4%. 4% and I'm dead. And we're back. Oh, so they do actually have death markers in this version. I, I couldn't remember when they were introduced. Oh, that's good. I can go and get go back and get my fuck all for my corpse. Arr. Yeah. Well, whatever. So another there's a there's a uh, an important cool thing coming quite soon. Um, and that's um, they're going to finally introduce component building. At the moment, you're uh, you're re you're like restricted to. Uh, I'm going to get my head around the old system. Hang on, you're restricted to these prefabs, like the old-fashioned lean-to. Well, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going to build it. Um, but in future, you're going to be able to still build prefabs, but you're also going to have a component system, so you can assemble things. Oh my god! I tripped over the fucking thing. <laughs> you can assemble. Some stuff that's a bit more to, a bit more customised, but at the moment it's very early days, and we we know absolutely nothing um, about that other than what I've just said. Really, um, there's Argo. I think there's Argo right there actually, because I can I recognise the flag. Um, so that should be interesting anyway. Um, but I'm not sure how much building I'll actually do. But it would be nice to get like um, a version of centre point that isn't just that those awful walls and everything. Um, I don't know. So I had to go back to Argo and just have them hide, I guess. I'm just checking checking out the um the lighting and the colour, and it definitely I think the new version the new um the new lighting that's just been introduced to the uh, the, to the um to Fraidlin and everything is again reasonably similar to this. This is Unity Four, I guess, um, and of course modern day Savage Lands is Unity Five. So I don't know if um, that's all tied together or not. I'm just being attacked by those these tiny little things. Just going here. <laughs> Does this warm me up? Yes, it does. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> just wait for it. So the, this is the old AI, which sort of carried over to the new island, but then kind of like got more and more broken as time went on until eventually it just just didn't cope at all with the new islands. Um, so that's being that's that's the thing that's they're currently replacing right now. Oh, a barbed skull mace. Ooh, now I can do some tonking. Yes, one hit. Actually, I should probably cook some of this stuff, shouldn't I? 
die. See, Argo is um actually none of those got any meat in it. See, Argo, this is this is where me and Pete did a little multiplayer fight at one time. Ah, oh, happy days. I think we both went up in the air a lot. Um, I'm going to go over to the fire. There's quite a lot of fires um, ligging about in this version. Oh, there's the there's the dragon. Um, I can't remember. Oh, crafting so Look look at this old-fashioned menu. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, I, don't think, I don't think the dragon was particularly fierce in this version. It sometimes um, came down and burnt you, but it, it took a lot of waving your arms around at it and going, Hey! Mate! Over here! Oof. I feel like I'm saying things and then not finishing them at the moment, so I apologise if I'm if my mind's all over the place. So yeah, coming soon, we'll have the um, we'll have that new island, we'll have the new building um, system, and it should be quite interesting. The next the next few weeks of the game, well, to be fair, I think the next few weeks of the game are going to be quite quiet because I think they're going all systems go on populating the the brand new uh, Fraidlin with content and stuff like that. Because the, the the peak we got on the Twitch stream was. As I say, it was basically all just forest at the moment, so they haven't really added things in. They've added like a couple of towns and stuff, uh, which look very much like the normal Fraidlin towns, only like in a different arrangement. So things haven't changed hugely. Yeah. But yeah, it has a the look. Just yeah, going back to the look and the lighting, it does feel like it is going a bit more legacy. The um the th things are going a bit more back to where what they used to be. So it's the the whole point is I think that if legacy was one extreme and that the current New Islands are the other. The new, the new new island, the new Fraidlin, is going to be somewhere between that. It's going to have the dramatic geography of um, current Fra or old Fraidlin, whatever you want to call it. But it's also... I don't know why I'm going up there again. But it's going to have the wide open areas of, of this legacy where you really do actually have to explore and stuff. The, the, the balance they're going to have to find, which I really hope they do... Hello, mate. <laughs> the balance they're going to have to find is making it so that um, you do feel lost... But it doesn't end up being like a kind of hiking simulator where you just have to walk for absolutely ages. Once you get tough in the game, you don't want to have to like just walk, you know, trudge across the island to get from place A to place B. So I feel like it needs to be like, especially early on, you need to feel like you're very lost. But once you get a handle on it, you should be able to navigate it through with reasonable ease and not feel like it's going to spend you're going to spend doing that forever. Um, but it all depends, I guess, on what kind of game you actually want out of Savage Lands. Well, there's my body. I wasn't even trying to get that. Um, it depends on what you want, because I mean, the, the, the Legacy Islands was very um, geared towards um, navigation and su just survival in a place where you, just, you didn't know where you were and it was really hard. And when you actually found a new town, it was actually a genuine surprise. You think, oh my god, a new t uh, like I didn't expect this to be here. Um, so that was good, because I like, I like getting lost and learning how to navigate the island. But also, in the new islands, they just look so cool and just interesting and full of interesting bits and portals and things. So, it's, but it's, it does feel like a different game. It definitely feels like you've got the, um, it's all about crafting progression and equipment and mining and stuff like that. It's more, it looks like it's heading towards more of an RPG thing. But now I think they're dialing back on that and want to make it a bit more like old-fashioned survival with places to get lost in and everything like that. I don't know. It remains to be seen because it's all about speculation at the moment. I just want to, I just, I just really hope that they do hit that middle ground that I'm talking about. Do I need that? Uh, probably not. And because then we will actually have the best of both worlds. Um, you'll get the um, uh, the wilderness exploration, but you'll also get the fact that the um, the island is going to look really cool. Um, but having said that, I mean, having gone back to this legacy island and now just having a wander around today, um, it's not. I mean, I, I kind of like I'm almost expected to go back to it being like in black and white and low poly or something like that. But no, it's actually um, it's actually reasonably colourful. There are bouts of colour. Um, Sunder cotton is oh yeah. <laughs> you can't actually harvest it. You actually have to tonk it. Um, that's old. Yeah, this is old school. I really like the harvesting me um, thing that they introduced. Um, my inventory is full, but never mind. Yeah, so going back to it, it, it does have a bit more colour than I remember. Um, the interface looks looks a bit piss. Um, and yes, I mean, I've just been going in a straight line for a long time. And there's pretty much nothing. It's just a small smattering of buildings. But oh, it's our first wolf. Thankfully, I did actually pick up an actual weapon. But there's, that wolf looked quite small. Uh... But yeah, they they do feel dangerous. Oh, there's shitloads of them as well. I do feel like I miss this because in the modern in the modern world, you just know where you know, you can just wolves just like pop up quite close by, and they seem a bit dozy. So it feels like you can always avoid even coming across any really dangerous situations half the time. But yeah, this one they just even though they um they do in theory spawn quite a long way away, 
Um, you you just got to keep your wits about you and so you can actually see them, because that felt like it came out of nowhere. But it was really because I wasn't paying attention more than anything. Let's just get rid of that. And I really should have built a compass or something, but um, I'll have to go back to the forge. And I think I'm committed to this path now. Okay, so let's close out. I was going to do a bit more. I'm going to go back into um, the modern... I think I actually might be going back the way I came, so let's go in this direction. So I think I was going to do a bit more. I was going to go back to the modern version um, and have a, a bit of a discussion, but I think I don't, I don't think we really need to do that. So this may this may be the last episode of Season 2. Um, depends what happens in the next few weeks, really. And because I do want to see how the new AI is shaping up in the and the um, on the baddies, and because that's that's still being rolled out, and they're going for the aggressive mobs now. Now they've like done a pass of the passive mobs, they want to improve the AI of the aggressive ones. So I want to see how that plays out. However, if nothing else particularly interesting happens, this will be it, and we'll pick it up again in season three, which will be when they introduce the new island. So we can kind of start afresh again, like we did with season two. Because um, I'm kind of aware that a lot of people will see the early episodes of season two and expect it to be the current game, when it very definitely is not. Um, anyway, so I don't know where this is. I think they did introduce a few more wrecks around the place towards the end of Legacy. Um, it wasn't just like five town. the five towns, Argo, Tillian, Jibbity Job, Cow House, Tree World, and Five Town. That's probably not the actual names. Um, I may have made some of them up. I don't know. <laughs> Um, anyway, so we'll leave it here. Yes, so I'll, I'll either see you in, um, in the next episode or I'll see you in Season 3. Um, or I'll just freeze to death and then fall over. Who knows? It's like, going to be exciting finding out, probably. Um, anyway, yep, so thanks for watching. This has been JB from randomizeduser.com. Subscribe to be notified about future episodes of Savage Lands, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.